Hello everyone, welcome to our channel TS Info Technologies. My name is Arvind and today we will learn about Python NumPy data types. So before I start, let us move forward and have a look at the agenda for today. So, so in this video, we will understand how to use data types in NumPy array and different types of data types. And we will also execute the example regarding this query. Then we are going to discuss data type with examples in Python. So let us move forward and understand these important topics. But before I start, let me tell you guys, we have already created a detailed article on this topic and link of that article will be available in the description. You get all the code related to the example which are available in the article only. So guys, as you can see in this article, we have created many important topics. So guys, in this session, we will learn about the data types in NumPy Python. So basically data types are used for defining a variable with a specific type that is used for identifying the variables and the NumPy provides. It also used data types like integer, floats and strings. So basically there are different uh, three types of data types in Python. First is NumPy numeric types, second is NumPy string types and third one is NumPy scalar types. So let us continue with this type but before uh, I start let me tell you guys there are several data types supported by numpy python r the first one is np.bool this type uh, represents the boolean values either it is a uh, true or false our second is np.int it is a default type of integer that uh, that we can use in our example similarly in c in p these are the integers right in int 8 the uh, the maximum range value is minus 128 to 127. Same in the case of integer 16, there will be a range value of minus 3276 to 32767. These are the data types which can be used in NumPy data types. Now we discuss what is NumPy data type. Basically it is used in a Python programming language and it can be represented as a data type object. Uh, object. So guys, this is the syntax of NumPy D type data type this is a function name dot d type we can represent in python after that in this function there are three parameters the first one parameter is object align and copy third so guys let's have a look at the example and understand the data type of numpy array so this is my example uh, first we have imported the numpy library without this library we cannot use the numpy array function after that we use the numpy dot array function and pass the integer values in it once you will execute this code it will display the what will be the data type of numpy array so guys our next topic is numpy data type strings in this example we will learn how to use string data type in numpy python to do this task we are going to first simple creation of array by using np.array function and then use d type as an argument in it while uh, while execute this as you can see the output it displays the u6 it is a string format now if you want to check the size of a data type or the array you can use nd.array.size function this is basically get the total number of elements which are available in the given array the syntax is numpy dot size and the following given example is we have just simple created a numpy array now now if you want to check the size of numpy array you just simply write the size function in it so guys our next topic is numpy data types flows float so in this example we will learn how to check flow data type in numpy python so this is our example we have just imported the numpy library and then we have create an array by using np.array function you also create an array by using np.array function but in this example we have just created an np.array function here. within this function we have passed decimal values or you can say the floating values once you will execute this code by using d type parameter it will display the data type of the array that is float 64 now our next topic is numpy data types date time so in this example we will learn so in this example we will learn how to use date time data type in numpy python so basically date time method is used to get the 
date and time in an array so this is the syntax of numpy dot date time this is the function name and within this parameter we have to pass the date argument in it the date format is first we use the array, uh, year month and the date we have just created a numpy array function within this function we have pass np dot date time 64 matter in it as you can see that the output it displays the date time and the year uh, sorry date month and the year so guys our next topic is numpy date the types change in this example we will learn how to change data types in python so to do this task we are going to use numpy dot as type method for example suppose you have an array of type integer 64 or 32 bits now you want to change this data type with in float data type so this function will work easily now we will take an example and check what will be the output in this example we have imported the numpy library and then create an array within this function we have pass floating values in it after that we use the as type function along with the array and pass integer format data type in it now once you will execute this code you will see the output displays the integer value numpy data types raise so guys in this example we will learn the range of data types in numpy data type to check this we are going to use the numpy.info function along with the d type parameter as you can see that the range of this function so guys our next topic is python data types check in this example we will check we will see how to check data types in numpy python to, to check the data type in numpy python we are going to use the d type method for checking the data type in python similarly we have just created an array function and then use the d type method in it to check the data what will be the data type that is in 32 now i am going to copy this code and run into my machine the data type of this suppose if you change the values of numpy array function now i'm going to change the value 78.9 once you will execute this code see that the data type is float 64 it means if you insert the floating values in the creation of array then you get the data type of float integer float 64 so with this we have completed important topics so guys if you like this video please subscribe this channel for more tutorial like this thank you so much